and welcome to day number 12 on the advent of cyber. Today we're going to do the one called Defense in Depth. So in this particular room I just finished it and I just restarted the IP because I figured it's going to be you know a long one to go through with you guys so I decided to finish it and then I'm going to give you the shorter version of it so you can quickly get through it and then if you want to learn it afterwards, go ahead and read the text, understand what's going on. So basically, this is all about that we have a vulnerable Jenkins dashboard we can access directly without any kind of access or configuration to it. We can just go ahead and go into the manage Jenkins part and execute a script directly, which in essentially going to give us a shell or reverse shell in the box. And from there we can start getting root and privesk, look at other users and exfiltrate, exfiltrate flags. Also, we need to do some uh, defense and dip hardening. So after we did the actual hack of the server, we will do some hardening of it. And by doing that, we need to delete the user trace, not delete user trace, we're gonna delete user trace from the sudo group. And we will also remove Tracy in, so she cannot do sudo anymore. And after that, we're going to go ahead and do some hardening to the SSH config files. Straightforward. And we're going to do some, uh, what do you call it, hardening to the Jenkins configuration file uh, by enabling an old backup, removing the original configuration file. And then we're going to go ahead and fill out the answers we got right here. So, first of all, let's go ahead and just Go to the top and copy paste the correct address, which is the one right there. Let's copy paste that. And then let's go to the original and the new IP for the box. You'll be logged in like this in the start. And what you need to do now is go ahead back and just a tad down after you read all this, you've got to find a link here called script. Go ahead and open a terminal, copy paste the, the script like copy and copy link. Go to terminal, just like that. And then do wget and then download the script. Now, when you've done that, go into the script itself and change the IP to your local machine IP and whatever port of choice, which is of course not in use. I chose this port because I usually use something like that or 4000, doesn't really matter. You're gonna go in. Now, because you cannot directly copy paste from Nano, you can cut everything to the screen just like that, and then copy paste it. Then go uh, to the terminal and start your netcat listener. Remember the port 444 as we wrote right there. Go back, pick manage Jenkins, and then a tad down, you will be able to do some script execution. And this is the one where we will actually enable us to do scripts and press run. You will see that something happened and now we should have a reverse shell. We didn't get it. Let's check what's happened or not. So it pulled 4444. It's 10, 11, 10, 220. That's correct. Let's go one back. Did we get it all? Sometimes there's a copy paste issue with these kind of scripts. If you get this error to go back, take the one right here instead, copy that, place it below, and just replace the two first lines like that. And then run one more time. I had this issue before. I'm just gonna show you what can happen. Anyways, you see the small dots going back and forth, like do, 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 do. Basically means we have reverse shell. We see we have a shell right there. We are user Jenkins. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and clear. I cannot clear. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the shell. This is a tad. Let's do export term. If I, okay, I'm gonna write it. Export, X term, delete term. Now we can uh, export term equal x term. There we go. No, I can spell. Is it today or not? 
Let's try one time. Copy. There we go. No export. Oh, it's small. I'm. It's one of those days, guys. You know how it is. I'm gonna show you. Sometimes you need to fail. Now we can clear because we set a terminal. And also we have Python 3 installed. I just wrote which Python 3. You can see it is installed in the server. So go ahead and execute this Python command right here to spawn a little bit of shell. Then we can type clear and we can do some different kind of you know commands. We can also go ahead and do stuff like sudo tech l and we don't have the password for Jenkins anyways. So what we are tasked to do in tutorial now is to go into the folder called opt, I think it was, and then scripts. Inside of that, you're gonna see the backup is .sh, so cat that out, backup.sh. This is, by the way, everything is in, in the tutorial, so just go ahead and follow that. You're gonna get the password for Tracy. Let's copy paste that. Which is, by the way, also an answer for one of the second questions. The first question was about the port, which is 8080, so that's quite easy to answer right there. Going back to the tutorial, we need to answer some more questions now. And uh, that would be what's the root flags? We need to get root right now. Getting root is quite easy on this box because we are. Uh, we can become traces. So go ahead and open a new tab and then SSH Tracy at and then the new IP address which we have somewhere. There we have it. And let me go ahead and paste that in. And we're gonna say yes and the password we're just right there. Copy paste that straightforward and now we have a stable shell with colors which is tracy and we can go ahead and type sudo tag l and paste the same password one more time and we'll see we can do everything so sudo tag su issue thank you and now we root easy peasy so we're gonna cut out a root flag text and you're gonna get the second flag third flag which is the question you need to answer there we go now now we're done with all this kind of, you know, compromisation. We, we, we compromise the server. There we go. And now we need to do the hardening part. Now, the hardening part is something that may seem scary at first, but it's quite easy, actually. We have access to the root users. Go ahead and just copy paste the first command. You don't need to do sudo in front of it. If you have root, let's skip that part. So we're removing trace from the sudo group. Done. And we are also saying, let's confirm it. And we cannot do anything as Tracy. Let's su Tracy to switch users to Tracy and try sudo tag L one more time. And then let's go ahead and copy paste the password. There you go. And now we're gonna get the answer for the fourth question, which is, which is, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Uh, what is the error message, blah, 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 there it is. What is the SSH flag and the Jenkins flags? Those flags are in the config file. Let's go ahead and just check it out. So to do that, you need to follow the tutorial and go ahead and navigate yourself to this folder right here. So let's go ahead and paste that. Go back to the command line. Exit out Tracy, we're back to root, clear screen. Go to that, uh, sorry, uh, nano into that file. And this file here, we're gonna remove this one right there. And go down a bit. And look for the password authentication. There we go. Take this, say no. And just right below here, you have the flag you need to copy paste. Go that. I'm gonna save the file. Go out of it, and we did the things it said. And now we need to restart the SSH service. Let's go ahead and do that. Straightforward, right? SSH service is now restarted. Now we're gonna go back to a new tab to verify that we can have SSH into Tracy, which is what we were going to try and remove. So we should get something like cannot. 
uh, authenticate via public key. There we go. Cannot. We cannot access Tracy. So we remove Tracy through hardening. All right. We're going to continue now. And this is what we also got right here. So what I said is just basically what's on the tutorial, straightforward. Now we're going to go ahead and do stronger password policies. And we're going to go ahead and navigate to Jenkins folder. Let's do that. Not that one. There we go. Yes. And then we're going to go ahead and you're going to read this part. But there is a config called config back and a file called config.xml. So let's go ahead and navigate to the config.back file. So there, config, back. Inside of this, you've got to see some weird squiggly, weird lines. The one for authorization strategy and one for security realm needs to be added back. So go ahead and remove these in the top and also in the back. In the top, and, oops, and also in the back. And if you look close enough, you have your flag right there, which is the fourth question. Okay, let's take this, remove the config XML file, which is the present one. And then you're gonna say, you're gonna copy the config back to config XML. And now you have a new config XML file for the Jenkins service. Also now we need to do a restart of it. And everything I did so far was just what it said right there. Okay, so, whoa. Let's try and copy-paste one more time. One of those cases where I copy-pasted the whole document. <laughs> and I'm going to restart the Jenkins service. It can take a while to restart the Jenkins service, and I've got to be patient with that. And after that, when you go ahead and try and access the Jenkins page one more time here, you should be met with this, you know, uh, need to log in, not just a default yeah, get access to it, right? So that was all the flags, all the answers. We did some hardening. There we go, restarted. Go back, access the port 8080 on the server IP, and you should definitely be met with a login screen, and we're done. So basically, the room today was about server hardening, defense in depth, also a, a small basic hack, getting root access, exploiting default, and really stupid... Uh, configurations but you know the way it is so yeah i really hope you learned something for today's video and i'll see you again tomorrow from day 13. <laughs>